in such a hurry? Shopping. It's dollar day. Is that good? <laughs> Marvelous. Everything's on sale. You can pick up some terrific bargains. Aha! I suspected David wasn't doing so well. Baron. And he's doing just fine. Bargain hunting's a challenge. It's fun. It's a great pleasure for mortal women. Poor dears. If you're not doing anything, why don't you come along? We can have lunch. Well, it might be interesting to see how the other half amuse themselves. <laughs> you like it? Very nice. This, darling, is what I call a real bargain. Costs nothing. Try it my way, Mother. It's the challenge of the thing. You'll see. <laughs> this is for you, darling. I brought it from Paris. Fighting headwinds all the way. It's a wedding present. Whose? Yours, of course, darling. Belated but sincere. <laughs> Let's see how it looks on. Oh, it's cute. Oh, where do you see the rest of them? I brought a dozen. Mother. <laughs> Honey, I'm on. Oh, back in the box. <gasps> oh, the stars. See what happens when you get out of training. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Beautiful, charming, kindly witch said to the nasty old Snow White, ah, here's a lovely apple pie. Well, don't, don't kick, darling. Now, listen, we're trying to make you much more comfortable. Uh, That's a girl. was here. Well, Samantha isn't here. And uh, Mrs. Kravitz, do you know how to change a diaper? I was just leaving. That's funny, I don't see any car outside. Well, oh, she walks. Loves to walk. <laughs> Samantha, oh. my child. Oh, Mother, you look simply divine. Oh, thank you, dear. I'd like you to meet Darren's parents. Uh -huh. This is my mother. Mr. Stevens, Mrs. Stevens? Mrs. Stevens. Mr. Stevens. Uh, call me Frank. Frank? Oh, then you must call me Endora. <laughs> oh, what a lovely tie. My favorite colors, blue and white. Oh, do you really like it? <laughs> Phyllis tried to talk me out of wearing it today. She thought it was too flashy. You think so? Oh, I think it just matches his piercing blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite son-in-law today. You look stunning, Endora. Yes, that's certainly a nifty outfit. Dinner's almost ready. Why don't we all go in and sit down? Good. I'm starved, <laughs> Endora. Oh, thank you. You know, I always thought my son-in-law was handsome, but now I can see where he gets his good looks. <laughs> <laughs> Sit right down and talk this. <laughs> what are you doing in that outfit? I'm going out to do some shopping. You are not. Why not? People will stare. You'll attract attention. So what? Other men don't think I'm so bad to look at. <laughs> but, but, but you just better get used to it, because I am through with this dull life. Dull? Dull, dull, dull. I'm sick of simmering like a watched pot. I want to get out and boil. So listen, you, you can't do this. You're a wife and mother. Oh. Oh, you want me to dress like a typical mortal housewife and mother? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
now can I go shopping? <laughs> no! Will you... I'll get it. No, don't you dare! the effect. It's absolutely amazing. Do you really like it? I love it. And you really didn't have to do too much, did you? No. Just a little touch here and there. I can't wait for Ferdy to see me. I'll simply change the packaging. Oh, you see, Glamorous? Oh, Samantha, I'm proud of you. Why, you even changed your voice. But why the accent? Farine is partial to Puget Pardot. There's just one thing, though. Don't you think your plan's a little dangerous? Supposing What's-His-Name likes you too much? Not Farine. I trust him completely. Well, you said yourself. He's only human. <laughs> Maybe you are right. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> we'll see. Goodbye. for lunch, which you've obviously forgotten. Oh, I am sorry. I did forget. What do you want me to make? Tracks. I'm going to take you to lunch at a charming little French restaurant I've discovered. Well, Mother, I have to finish this dress before this evening. I, I don't think I have time to go out. Now, look. It'll take less time to eat out than it would to cook a meal yourself. Oh, well. All right, all right. Is it far from here? No, not really. Actually, it's practically around the corner. From the Rue de la Paix. <laughs> Mother, this charming little French restaurant is in France. Of course. Where else would it be? <laughs> and you should be dressed accordingly. <laughs> well, this is all very nice, Mother, but I'm going home. Oh, darling, you'll be home in a half an hour. And you did promise to have lunch with me. Not in Paris. You know what I always say? What? If you're going to have lunch, have an excellent one. <laughs> yes, sir. You catching an early plane, Mr. Barlow? No, it, it's not that. You see, Mrs. Stevens, I've been a student of health in all its aspects. Yes, I know. <laughs> and I've come to some important conclusions. <laughs> One, pure, nutritious foods. <laughs> Two, early sleep is the best sleep. <laughs> Three, naturally, the earlier you get to sleep, the better it is. <laughs> Four. Your oh, well, she is a dear. She wants us to have a good time. You know, you know some people have been flattering enough to compare me with Louis Pasteur and Bernard McFadden. <laughs> That's for history to decide. <laughs> I consider myself just a humble worker in the vineyard of health, as I see it. Now, how do you see it, Mr. Barlow? Oh, were, weren't you wearing a, another kind of dress? Pardon? Well, I could have sworn. Of course, I never swear. <laughs> I thought it was green, not red. Well, it's reddish green. You know how these synthetics are. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Would you excuse me, please? I, I think I'm much tireder than I thought. <laughs> 